It was unusual. I went to my first year of college in this school. In a building with nine decades of history, graduate and former custodian Bob Kearney knows a thing or two about Hibbing High School. And you can see we're on the National Register for Historic Places. Built in 1923 at a whopping cost of $3.9 million, even the entryway proves no expense was spared on this castle-like building. As you can see, we have uh, the murals on the sides, both sides. What he wanted to do is he wanted to show the difference between the United States as a whole and Minnesota. The building's elaborate artwork, intricate designs, and costly architecture were all made possible through the extremely profitable mining industry. We had a lot of money up here. And we had the first indoor pool in the United States. You know, so that was kind of cool. We had one before the president but we had more money than he did. Walking through the colorful foyer. They mixed plaster with horsehair to give it movability and staying power. And you're close to entering the building's most talked about room. We'll go into the auditorium. With its 1,800 seats and a stage big enough for Broadway, the auditorium was something most high schools had never seen. When this was built in the 20s, it, this is vaudeville. This is, this is something where you'd see the can can. The room is also home to much darker stories, including the legend of a ghost in seat J47, a ghost someone claimed to capture in a photograph. It was different, but like I said, you know, anything over 100, do I believe it? I don't know. I don't know. Who am I to say it could go bump in the night? Still, most of the school is more intriguing than scary. We're going to the library. This is this this library. Used to, well, it's no longer a library. It's a media center. While the library is focused more on computers than books nowadays, works of art still remind students of the city's unique history. Each person in this picture is a different nationality. And you can see them taking the ore from the pits, going to the rails, from the rails to the boats, and from the boats to the mills. The school's principal says most students understand their school isn't exactly normal. I'm pretty sure they know uh, that this is a very special place. Um, that's evidenced by the lack of vandalism and graffiti. I mean, occasionally you get some of that, but uh, primarily kids are very respectful of the property. Tours continue through the building year round because many travelers consider it a must see. People walk in and are amazed that we allow them to come in and, and take a look at our facilities and well, we don't want anybody to miss the treasure. And in the historical room, decades of history, including a yearbook picture of a young Bob Dylan, are scattered throughout displays and shelves. Even back in the day, visitors made sure to stop by just to see it for themselves. We had people like Bob Hope and all those people came up here just to see it. They, they couldn't believe that in the middle of nowhere, we had a castle. With photojournalist Harry Baker, I'm Dana Thayer, KQDS Fox 21.